I'm Luke Macy, and I recently graduated from Northwestern High School. I know how stressful it can be to figure out what you want to do after high school, so we hope you find some opportunities that might interest you in these videos. We have a packed video today, and I can't wait to get started. We're going to three different manufacturing facilities in our area to see what careers look like in this industry. I think careers in manufacturing might surprise you after what we have to show you today. Let's get started. We're at Fire and Marine Incorporated. They're a metal fabricator and equipment mounting company that specializes in fire trucks and emergency response equipment. My name is Dante Darden. I am the supervisor of the vendor management inventory department of Fire and Marine Incorporated. I've worked at Fire and Marine for five years. I started here as an assembler, someone who builds parts. And through five years of hard work, I've made my way all the way up to supervisor. An average day for me begins at 6 a.m. and ends at 2.30 p.m., Monday through Friday. As a supervisor, each day I will check my emails, greet my team, and make sure they have everything they need to get through the day successfully. My two main goals of each day are to keep the inventory level where it needs to be and quality control, which entails making sure that the item is perfect before it gets delivered to the customer. If you want to be successful in this field, you will need strong organizational skills, the ability to be flexible, because today's problems are not nearly the same as yesterday's. You'll also need a strong work ethic. With a good work ethic, you can rise to the top of any company you try to get to. To get started in this industry, you will need a high school diploma. The rest of the training is on the job training. If you make it to supervisor, you can look to make $38,000 to $53,000 a year. My name is Joey Albert. I'm a CAD technician at Fire and Marine. In high school, I took an engineering course. I piqued my interest in CAD. After high school, I joined the Air Force. I got a 3D printer, started messing around with that, and got me interested in doing CAD full-time. A day for me consists of designing and printing parts for fire truck compartment management. To be a CAD tech, you need to be able to use CAD software to design parts with precision and have attention to detail so your parts come out with the proper dimensions. Fire and Marine provides a lot of on-the-job training, but it's helpful to go to a trade school. Starting pay is around $15 an hour. That was so cool. I think you're going to be just as impressed with our next stop. We're heading to Silfex, which is a high-tech manufacturing facility. Let's go. We're here at Silfex. They make the parts that go into the machines that produce the chips and computers and other technology for memory storage. You're going to hear about silicon, which is the basic material used to make computer chips. It's a really interesting material because it looks like metal, but it acts like glass. They use cutting edge technology and science to manufacture their products. To work at Silfex, you need a high school degree. They also train new employees for manufacturing roles. Let's hear more. My name is Leonard Arnold. I go by Lenny. I never knew, you know, when I first heard of, you know, that they worked with silicon, I kept thinking maybe we were sealing windows or something, you know, with some silicon. You know, I didn't know what they really were getting at when I first came to this company. And then I realized, you know, it's almost like a glass. And you know, it's really delicate. And everything, everything that you touch in, in any way, uh, you don't never touch anything without gloves on because the oils on your fingers can really damage these parts. You, know, you would never think to call a piece of glass like a high-tech material, but silicon is a really durable, high-tech material that works well for what we build. What I do is I take the plate and I burn holes in them, and those go in the center, and the outers go around them, and they either get shaped or they're a flat electrode. And what I do is I burn holes in this plate in a pattern that have to be right on. I can't, you know, that <clears throat> our tolerances are really, really minimal. Some of them take an hour, some of them take seven hours. Depends on, you know, which machine it's set up on. I've got 10 machines going now. So we've got three of us. So each three of us, one of us, I usually take four, and I've got two guys that I'm training. So I give them three machines a piece. So they work on those three machines and I back them up, you know, just kind of make sure everything's going good. Uh, if they need anything, they'll come and ask me. And I just make sure I get that next in line, keep them rolling. It is very exciting to be a part of a big company like this. I mean, it really is. You know, how, you know, the things we make, uh, it's just really exciting. I mean, I never thought I'd be in part of a high-tech company like I am now. It's a great family environment, it really is. I mean, for somebody that is a family-oriented person, we are all really close together. I mean, I've got just as much time with my family as I do when I, you know, from here. I mean, our hours are 
kind of different than other places, but for me, it works out well. I enjoy my family time as much as I enjoy my work time, so it, it, it balances out really well. A lot of opportunities. I tell anybody that comes in here, there is you know, there's room for advancement and opportunities galore. For our last stop, we're heading to Sweet Manufacturing. They make products that are used in agricultural and industrial industries, such as bucket elevators and conveyors. I think you'll like what they have to show us. My name is Daniel Soto, and I am a ensembler at Sweet Manufacturing. I have been in this company for three years and a half. They have given me the opportunities to work in different areas and learn different skills. For example, I didn't know how to weld before I come in here, but they are training me to learn that skill. I assemble different parts together to make a finished product for your customers. We make elevators and conveyors for the agriculture and industrial markets. A typical shift is the 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., but there are also opportunities for overtime. To assemble a product, you need to be able to follow the blueprints to make sure you are putting the right parts together. You will also need to be able to use different tools like drills and impact gums for the different types of hardware. To be an ensembler, you will need to have the high school degree. The company will train you to use the tools and machinery you need. This is a great job because it's allowed me to provide financially for my family. Hi, my name is Dalton Tram, and I'm a welder at Sweet Manufacturing. I went to Wright State for mechanical engineering and we had a project where we got to design a boat and then build it out of cardboard. I like the more hands-on side of that, so that's what really got me into the welding industry. As a welder and fabricator, I make parts for the agricultural industry and what that entails is measuring, grinding a little bit, making parts fit what they need to, and then getting them welded properly for the customer. If you're interested in being a welder, then trade school might be for you. I went to Hobart and it takes about nine months to do the full program. Once you finish trade school, you have many opportunities available to you. Here at Sweet Manufacturing, the pay is pretty competitive. Now that we've seen several different careers in advanced manufacturing, did your perspective change at all about the industry? I know mine did. Keep looking closer at in-demand careers in advanced manufacturing.